So if you're wondering why I am crouching down on my bathroom floor, it is for a good reason. I am moving from North Carolina to the suburbs of Detroit in like two or three weeks. So I need to sort of organize and get all of my like products and things all together in boxes and, what, and whatnot. Actually, I don't need to pack anything because the movers are gonna be doing all the packing for me and moving it across the country. But what I really need to do is get all my skincare gathered up, all my anti-aging products, all of my sunscreens, and I actually have quite a bit of product in this big giant drawer that has been accumulating for the past two or three years. I really need to just like get through them. So I thought I would vlog and you could sit here and sort of see all of the like, I guess it's like a skincare haul right now. You can see all the things that I have in this drawer and I'm gonna be getting rid of some things cause some of these are sunscreens that I should not be using anymore. Some are products that I've just sort of held onto for the hope that I would eventually use them but I really just don't like them. And other things are hits, misses, as well as when. So let's go ahead and get into this. I have quite a few products and I don't know where to start. It's like a jumble. I'm not going to show in here because I'm very, very embarrassed by how like cluttered and crazy it is. But let's just go ahead and start with the sunscreen, shall we? So I have this MD Solar Sciences sunscreen. This is an SPF of 50. It is the mineral cream. I'll just put it in here so you can see it. This is a pure mineral sunscreen. I actually like this. It has a little bit of iron oxides in here, but it is basically a white sunscreen, mineral sunscreen. Pretty good at blocking out the UVA, UVA1, UVA2, as well as UVB. I like this sunscreen. I like to pair it with a tinted mineral sunscreen from MD Solar Sciences. So I'm actually gonna keep this sunscreen and that's gonna go up there. So that's sort of my, this is my keep pile. Actually, let me put this on the floor so I can have my keep pile down there. Um, there's also another sunscreen that I have in here. This is the Tone Up sunscreen by Round Lab. I actually got their non Tone Up sunscreen and I really liked it. It's just like a pure chemical sunscreen, a Korean sunscreen. But this is a Tone Up sunscreen that has like a pink hue. I don't know if you can see, but I thought that that pink hue would be kind of like a blurring, skin blurring effect, but it really only provides like sort of I don't know, it kind of looks like makeup, like I'm wearing pink makeup. So I don't really know if I want to keep this. I mean, this is going to be the maybe aisle because it has those really fantastic Korean filters, like, um, or the, the filters that aren't approved. So like in the United States, so like even all T150 and even all A plus and those fantastic anti-aging filters. Okay, so I also have this No Nothing Conditioner. And I like this, but I don't think I will be using this up by the time we move because I hardly use it at all. It's supposed to have UV filters in here, but I can't tell what the UV filters are because I looked at the ingredients and I don't see anything that's filtering UV. So sadly, I'm probably gonna have to put this in the throw out pile. Okay, another sunscreen that we have is the, oh, the Beauty of Josion sunscreen. I really like the sunscreen. So I'm gonna keep this one and that's gonna go in the keep pile. You've heard me talk about the beauty of Joseon many, many a times, and I love it. Ooh, here's petroleum jelly. I actually think I have two petrolatum, like bottles of petrolatum in here. Oh yeah, I have two. So these are the two. I'm gonna keep these. In fact, that actually reminds me, I'm gonna put this on my lips because my lips are a little on the dry side. It is winter after all. So I really like just like sealing in moisture on my lips with the, this like petrolatum. It's just like one ingredient, petroleum jelly, I love it. So going to keep that. I actually use that for slugging, which you've heard me talk about. Um, you probably know what slugging is, but that just helps to seal in the moisture at night. Okay, so what else do I have? My sister gave me this Divi. Is it Divi or DV? It's like for the hair and scalp, and I think it's supposed to help to promote thicker hair and hair growth. Um, it might have like spearmint or mint in there. Oh yeah, it definitely does. Uh, that can actually help to possibly block that DHT um, for what is like 5-alpha reductase inhibitor type properties. 5-alpha reductase is basically an enzyme that converts testosterone into dihydrogen testosterone that is responsible for the aggressiveness of androgenetic alopecia, which is basically hair loss, typically in males, but it can also occur in females. And um, applying it theoretically is what's helped to 
reduce hair loss and promote hair growth. But actually, I'm going to keep that in the keep pile, the, the Divi, because I still haven't tried it yet. Have you tried the Divi yet? Let me know down below. All right, so moving on. So I have this L'Oreal Magic Skin Beauty Fire, Beauty Fire? BB Cream, it's like anti-redness. So I got this because I was seeing that a lot of people, I have rosacea, so I have redness on my skin. I was seeing a lot of people use a moisturizer with a green tint to help to calm down redness, but I didn't realize this is a BB cream, so it looks like and feels like makeup. It kind of feels gritty. I don't think I'm gonna use this by the time I move. And I've already kind of opened it and it's like a mess, so I think I'm just gonna have to put it in the throwaway pile. Let's see what else do I have here. Oh, I have my Marvis toothpaste. This is actually Jacob's, but we share. All right, deodorant. I will keep that just to have on hand. Oh, here's one. This is the Avene. SPF 50 Intense Protect Sunscreen. This is like the hot new product that I think Dr. Dre may have even reviewed and she liked it. I don't see how because I I don't see how people like this at all because it leaves a yellow tint. It's very greasy, don't like it. If you've seen my review on it where I actually apply it and show you what it looks like, watch that. If it's not up already, stay tuned because it will be up. Do not recommend that sunscreen, but it does have fantastic filters. In fact, I think it has, does it have like triazone in it, which helps to protect against blue light and visible light? I think it does. So that's cool. Oh, it has triazine. That's what it's called. Yeah, that helps to protect against blue and visible light. So I like that, but I just don't like the feeling of it. I don't like the look of it. I definitely want to go on public in it. Ugh, should I keep this? I've had it for maybe less than a year. I don't know. Maybe I won't. Oh, that can go in the maybe pile. I'll put that in the maybe pile. All these piles are sort of like coming together, so I'm getting very confused. I have this other sunscreen. This is an Elta MD Broad Spectrum SPF 44. Sorry, this is like really messy. Tinted sunscreen bottles get really, really grimy over time, but this is a pure mineral sunscreen SPF of 44, oh my gosh, sounds like I'm playing basketball in here. This is, this actually is kind of drying on my skin and it's far too dark for my complexion. So there's not really that much in here left. So I might just put this in the throwaway pile because I probably won't use it for for the time being, you know, before I move and everything. Uh, I have this R&R Mineral Mist Toner that I love because it is very hydrating before you put on a moisturizer. Like I use, it's like a spray, like a toner spray. No alcohols, no witch hazel or anything like that. It definitely has a lot of plant-based extracts that I, I think I've even talked about this on my channel, a lot of plant-based extracts that may protect the skin from UV, that may improve collagen synthesis. And there's niacinamide in here and aloe vera, very soothing. I apply this usually to wet skin before I apply my moisturizer um, just to seal that in. But I just have like the tiniest bit left. So I'll probably just put this in the throwaway pile because I won't be using that up and I've had it for a while. So I try not to use skincare products after I've had it for a couple of years. All right, so I have this Stream 2C. This is a leave-in conditioner. I like this. It has fragrance in it, so you may not like that, but this is a leave-in conditioner. You don't need a lot. It has UV filters in here, so it will protect your, your hair, your hair shaft from UV, protect it from weathering and the free radicals that UV produces in the hair that in my opinion, it probably contribute to sort of like the depigmentation of hair or graying hair or white hairs cause because it's, I mean, free radicals like hydrogen peroxide, that's a free radical that causes gray hair. I suspect that UV has something to play, have play a role in that because it does cause those free radicals and that generation, especially in the skin, but definitely in the hair. So protecting your hair from UV is incredibly important. I'm gonna keep this in the keep pile. I have a lot more in the keep pile. Actually, I have more in the throwaway pile than I anticipated. All right, I have my Vanny Cream Zinc Pyrithian, Pyrithion Shampoo. This is, I need to bring you closer, but this is the like anti-dandruff shampoo. Let me bring you closer. Okay, I brought you a little closer. What else do I have? Oh, I bought this on a whim because I needed a cleanser, like in the first step of my double cleanse. This is the Noxzema, like, a uh, classic clean cleanser. I don't recommend this. I have like a huge thing of it. Look how much I still have in this like one pound, no 12 ounce, 12 ounce jar of this. I have all of this. 
I can't use it all. Um, but it has eucalyptus extract in here, which made my skin really red. I hate to throw anything like this away, but it just, I'm, I just can't see myself. I'm not gonna use it. I, like, this is what happens. I save all these things thinking that maybe I'll use it, maybe I'll use it, and I never use it. So, ah, I'm gonna throw it away. Okay, so I was sent this by my sister for my birthday. This is the Dermatology Advanced Retexturizing Cream. And I used this once and got really red. It like, I had a sunburn, but you see it's like a cream. This is an exfoliating cream. I think it's an AHA. Yeah, it's 15% AHA, so alpha hydroxy acids. Potentially great for helping to in, or improve collagen synthesis, so great anti-aging exfoliating acid, but because I have rosacea, I think that I shouldn't be exfoliating. Aside from doing azelaic acid, which is a mild exfoliator and also probably sort of like a depigmentation, depigmenting agent, um, the Dermatology Advanced Retexturizer Renew, probably great, great for people who don't have the rosacea, but um, not great for me. That being said, it may help with acne scars. So I don't know if like doing this with like a spot treatment on acne scars could be helpful because it helps to increase collagen synthesis and helps to just sort of like slough away all the dead skin cells and review or renew, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Reveal new skin, um, younger looking skin. But I don't know, I, just, I, I feel like maybe this will be in the maybe pile. I don't know. I don't really have that much in the maybe pile. I just have those two sunscreens. I'll put it in the maybe pile for now. I just don't see myself using it. And I feel bad because it's a present, but I'll just put it in the throwaway pile, I guess. I won't be using it. Okay, so I have this clay hair matte finish stronghold from Everyday Jack that I bought. And I used it once and I, I just didn't like the way my hair... Here's the cream. It's just like a cream molding hair thing on my jig. I don't think this has UV filters in it, but I used it once thinking that it was going to solve all my hair, all my hair problems, but it didn't. So I'm gonna throw that away. I, I thought it would like sculpt my hair in like a dry looking way. It just made it look greasy. So can't do that. And my hair just doesn't grow. It's not like, it doesn't grow the same way to support a matte clay looking finish. Aqua for advanced therapy. You know, I haven't really used this at all because I've just been using on my lips like the skin protectant, um, pure petrolatum. This contains 41% petrolatum, so what other ingredients in here? Mineral oil. I might keep this actually, just because it's always good to have some skin protectants on hand. Okay, I have this Pacifica SPF 50 bronzing butter. This is a huge bottle that I hardly use. I got it in the summer of 2022. And it has coconut fragrance in here. It is SPF 50 and it really gives you a tan looking finish, like without having to go to the tanning booth or go out in the sun or get a spray tan, which, okay, look at my white pale arm and then look at that, but watch it sort of like melt because it is a body butter and it sort of melts and gives me a nice tan summer looking finish and it protects against UV. Can you see that? I've done this same like application before on my channel, but oh, let me see. Can you see that at all? The, mm, 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 mm. I don't know, maybe I should like, I don't know, look at that. Can you see what I see? That's that. I'm gonna keep that just for the summer. I don't think I did a very good job at applying that, but look through my other videos. Uh, I definitely have applied that and it looked a lot better than what I did. Oh, here is the ordinary Argelene extract. Uh, this is supposed to be like a Botox in a bottle. There are some studies showing that it helps to sort of relax the muscles and provide similar effects to Botox without having to, oh my goodness, eject, inject botulinum toxin into your muscles or like discord or something like that not just botox but without yeah having to inject that toxin into your body but that being said i never use this it's super cheap so if i decide to get it again i probably will but i don't really want to use something that may be like expired or anything so i'm gonna throw that out what is this this is like a travel bottle that i put something in but it has like some sort of cream or something and i don't know what it is i'm gonna need to wash that <laughs> sunscreen off my Skin later. What is in here? It's 
I think it might be shampoo actually. I think it might be this Vanny cream. Here it is, <laughs> probably can't really see this, but this is Renew SPF uh, 44, 42 uh, sunscreen. This It looks like the Dermatology sunscreen, but this is pure mineral tinted sunscreen. This was like $45 or something on Amazon. Uh, I had points, so I was able to just get it for free. Uh, and I have been using it for, I think I may have had this for a couple of years, so I might want to throw this away. It's almost done, too. I'm going to keep that in the maybe pile because I might use that again. I might like put it over a pure white mineral sunscreen. Oh, it's taken forever. Okay, so I have this CeraVe PM moisturizer. This, if you remember back to my Seattle vlog, or even my St. Louis vlogs that I did recently, for whatever reason, whenever I use retinol and I use this over the retinol, it gives me the most red skin possible. Like, it looks like I have been in the sun, I got a sunburn. I do not like this. I do not like the CeraVe PM Facial Moisturizing Lotion Ultra Right. Light. Ultra Right. No, it's more like ultra wrong. But it does contain great ceramides, niacinamide, hyaluronic acid, things like that, so that's good. But what I don't like about it is, and other people have said this, other people online have said this, that when they use tretinoin or retinoids, that this will provide, this will make them super red and irritated, make their skin super red, sensitive and irritated. Did the same thing for me when I was using retinol. It makes me mad, so I'm gonna throw this away. But that being said, otherwise it's a great lotion moisturizer. Okay, so just don't use it if you're using retinol because there's something in the formula that interacts with that vitamin E derivative. Ooh, here's my BioSilk Volumizing Therapy Texturizing Powder. This also has UV filters in here. This is for the hair. Basically helps to like provide volume and texture and mold it into shape. I'm gonna keep this in the keep pile. I'll do that. I'll put my deodorant in the keep pile as well because I don't want to forget that. All right, here's the Misha Time Revolution Pro Ferment. I just have like the littlest bit left in this. And I've had this for like three years. So <laughs> I'm just gonna throw this out, I think, and just not keep it anymore. I've been using this cool, 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 cool Control Corrective Sulfur Calming Mask occasionally for my rosacea to try to combat my, my rosacea, the redness. And, oh, can I just go back to that stupid moisturizer, the CeraVe, CeraVe moisturizer? I use retinoids to reduce redness, and this just exacerbated it. Okay, that's what I wanted to say. But the sulfur is supposed to help to reduce redness. Um, it could also be used as a spot treatment for, like, pimples or acne or something like that. But sulfur is fantastic. I, I do like it, but I haven't really used it a ton or consistently to see any benefits. But I, I want to keep it, so I'm going to keep put that in the keep pile. Oh, I put my shampoo. Did I say the Vanny cream has a zinc pyruthione? The zinc pyruthione is helps with dandruff, but it's also has, has anti-inflammatory actions that help with that possibly may help with hair growth and fighting that um, uh, inflammation that's associated with hair thinning. Here is Vanny cream moisturizing lotion. There's hardly anything in here, so I'm just going to throw that out. I've had it for a while. I just bought this. I restocked up on this, this Vanny Cream Daily Facial Moisturizer. This has, I've talked about this incessantly on my channel. I love this moisturizer. It's like a lotion moisturizer. It's silky smooth. It has, I think, somebody asked me if it has an occlusive agent in here. So the second ingredient is squalene, and that is sort of like a semi-inclusive agent. If you're worried about the occlusivity of this, uh, definitely just follow up with like a thicker moisturizer cream or maybe another moisturizer lotion that you know has an occlusive agent in here. I found this to be sufficient though for my skin. I love Vanny Cream Facial Moisturizing Lotion, especially in, especially if I'm in like humid environments like Florida or Texas, I will use this and I'm good to go. So keeping that in there. All right, I've also had this for like a couple years. This is the G Gigen Moisturizing Facial Gel. This has, okay, I've reviewed this on my channel. It's pretty good, but it doesn't really have occlusive agents in here, so you have to put a occlusive moisturizer on here, like a thick moisturizer. I do like it because a lot of the ingredients are anti-aging, collagen promoting, and may even protect against UV to a certain extent. And it's also just basically a great humectant um, as well as an emollient, but it doesn't, occlude moisture in the skin so you definitely have to apply a thick moisturizing lotion over that but i'm gonna throw that away because 
Um, even though I kind of like it, I hardly have anything uh, in it, and it's also had it for a long time, so I don't want to keep using that. I keep finding these like blue bottles. This has, I think this one has um, the Sun Bum Sea Salt sea salt texturizing spray in here so i'm gonna keep that and uh i really like that because that's that also has uv filters in here that i really like so i'm gonna keep that put that in the keep pile this i don't know it might, this might be cleanser actually so i'm gonna keep that in fact i'll keep that in the keep pile and i also have i also have sarah me moisturizing facial lotion this is a another lotion. Actually, this is not a facial lotion or marketed as such. It's just a moisturizing lotion. Probably great for like the hands, the body. Uh, I use this on the face, to be all honest. To be all honest, I use this on the, on the face, and I don't actually get the same redness that I get from like the CeraVe facial moisturizing lotion. Although I haven't used my retinol in a long time, so it's hard to tell. It's hard to say. So there you go. I have this box of the Landbell natural sunscreen. This is a Korean sunscreen, I believe, and it has all those fantastic chemical UV filters in here, but I think I just saved this for like a video. Oh my gosh, I actually have a lot of sunscreen in here. Ooh, I'm gonna throw this off because <laughs> I don't know how long it's been here and I don't want to... I'll put it on the backs of my hands though, even though the sun's setting and it probably won't be very useful for anything, but maybe it'll protect against visible light. We'll see. Uh, throw away. Wait, okay, throw away. I was like, I only had two, three things on my throw away. That's actually my maybe pile. I think I'll just combine my maybe pile with my definitely. All right, what else do I want to do? Oh, what is this? Here's the Can Make, Can Make UV Gel. I really like this sunscreen. Did they reformulate it? Because recently I tried it, I bought two things of it, and it leaves a little bit of a cast. like. Yeah, they put a mineral sunscreen, like a filter in there, like titanium dioxide that I don't remember, because it does leave somewhat of a cast. This one that I had in my drawer, this one I think is the, what is it? Oh, uh, the white sunscreen, like the, because there's like white, clear, and something else, I think. And this is the white. It is super white. It is so casty. But you know what? This is like a huge bottle. I haven't had it for very long. I'm going to keep it. And then, wow, everything's sort of ugh, coming together. Okay, I'm going to keep it and then, Find a way to use it. Maybe I'll put a mineral sun. Maybe I'll put like a tinted mineral sunscreen over it. Oh, you know what my sister got me for Christmas? Actually, she got me a sunscreen like sample. It is the. Let me see if I can get it out of my my bag. But it is the Super Goop Glow sunscreen. And I think this might have Ava Benzone in here. But I wonder if I can put that over that Kanmake just so I can have like chemicals on chemicals and it's not mineral on chemicals. Not that that probably matters, but. I have so many chemicals, I need to start paring down. Okay, here is the Needleless Serum. I saved the box, the grimy box, but this is the Dermatology Needleless Serum. I have talked about this before, I really like this. It has uh, copper extract in here, or copper extract, it has copper peptides in here, which are really good for collagen and elastin synthesis. It also has ceramides, I talked about this before on my channel, but very different ingredients like tripeptides, peptides in here that can be good for collagen. Great anti-aging serum, but I had it for a while and I've had it like sort of in this drawer where it was getting exposed to humidity and high temperatures went from the shower. So I'm gonna throw this out and just buy a new one eventually. Uh, yeah, so that will be thrown out. Let's see what else do I have. I've had this for a long time, the CeraVe SPF 30 sunscreen, mineral sunscreen. Super white, there's hardly anything in here that is in the throw out pile. Um, let's see. Oh, this is my travel cleanser. I like this uh, in the double cleanse, the second step of the double cleanse. It really is good at helping to moisturize the skin, especially if you rub it in your skin for about a minute. This is a cleanser by CeraVe. It's really good. It has hyaluronic acid and ceramides in here. So even the short contact time that you have with a cleanser can possibly provide benefit because especially if you have dry skin, Put this in the heat pile. Especially if you have dry skin, it definitely is. I feel like a little, I don't know, it's like rumple silk skin. Because I used to, I played rumple silk skin in like second grade. Um, yeah, what was I saying? So, oh yeah, hydrating ingredients. Yeah, that's definitely good to have in your skincare arsenal, especially in the winter. Even if it's short contract contact, you definitely want to have just like cleansers that are hydrating 
you want to do definitely do the double cleanse method because that's going to keep your skin hydrated throughout the whole process and then slather on that moisturizer right after on that damp skin to seal in all that moisture here is the mineral fusion sunscreen this also contains this also provides a uh, slight white cast this has zinc oxide titanium dioxide it also has oils in here it has shea butter so very hydrating but if you can't handle shea butter or oils if it makes you break out you definitely don't want to do this this is the first sunscreen that i ever used on my face for like real when i started wearing sunscreen in 2018 i think when i first started wearing sunscreens this is the first one because i really wanted to just do like all natural all mineral and i like it but i haven't used it in a long time i personally think i need to just use up all of my mineral sunscreens that i have and just start anew but uh this one the, in, the what is this called mineral fusion it is good and it is very very natural um very moisturizing but if you struggle with sort of like the white cast cast and oh, also if you're oily you definitely don't want to use it i bought this at whole foods or something this is that in a pca i talked about this briefly i think but this may be good for anti-aging um it's a natural moisturizing factor uh, i think it's sodium pca what is this sodium pca yeah it also has aloe vera in here so it may help to moisture moist the skin i use this sort of as a toner but i've had this for a long time so i'm gonna throw this out there's hardly anything in there either. Okay, I got sent this from Indie P, I think is the brand. This is Korean. This is Pro, this is Vitamin P9 Tone Up Cream. When I reviewed this, I thought it was a moisturizer, but little did I know what tone ups were, but basically it's a tone up cream that is super, super white and it doesn't, well, on the backs of the skin, I feel like that's not a good indicator of what it will look like on the face, but it definitely leaves a white sheen. You have to use very, very little of it. I don't even know what it's supposed to do. I guess the B9 is supposed to help with skin texture. It also has some moisturizing ingredients in here. I'm gonna keep that. <laughs> Maybe I'll put that under like a mineral sunscreen or something. All right, I'm making good progress. Here is the La Roche-Posay Anthelio sunscreen. I'm gonna throw this out. This is a mineral sunscreen. It's just super dark. It's too dark for my skin tone, so I don't need it. It's also kind of gritty, I feel like, on my skin tone. I don't really like that. I don't really need that in my life. Here's another travel bottle that has absolutely nothing in it, and it's very messy, so I'm gonna throw that away. This is the thing about skincare and skincare products in the skincare industry it's sort of like the dirty little secret speaking, speaking of dirty oh my gosh you just see this drawer that i have is that it is super wasteful i feel like especially if you're a skincare junkie kind of like what it seems like i am speaking of which here's another mineral sunscreen that dr dre recommended this is the r and r and i got this at tarjay and i don't like it it looks like makeup this it doesn't suit my skin tone it's super greasy and then it dries down crazy weird and i guess i'm just gonna throw it out because i just don't like it and you can really shake it because it's so it's like a serum it's, it is that's what it is a sun serum sunscreen serum i just don't like it i don't like that especially with when you have to use a quarter of a teaspoon that's way too much for your face not in terms of sun protection but just in terms of the product way too much Oh, what I was saying is the skincare industry, highly wasteful. There's so many products and I really feel like for me going into 2023, I realized that I really need to just stick to the basic essentials, the things that I like, the products that I like, that I know that I want to keep using. Yes, I will definitely continue trying new products for you and trying to give those products, if I don't like them, give them away to like my mom or my sisters or somebody that I know so that it, there's no waste that, or there's, you know, it sort of delays the time it gets into the junkyard. But yeah, there's so many products I'm throwing away and I just don't like that because some of these are plastic. Some of them are actually glass. There's actually quite a few things that are glass, but um, yeah, just, it's gonna go in the landfill fill and then just take forever to degrade, I'm sure, so. It doesn't, that just doesn't sit well with me. So I really pref I really think I need to start using things, first of all, in glass if I can, but also just making sure that I'm using those things that, oh my gosh, I'm getting a cramp, I'm getting a cramp, I'm getting a cramp. <gasps> um, ow, 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 ow. Okay, I'm gonna have to pause. Okay, you know what? Oh, I'm almost done. Let me just power through this. Mm, okay, let me, if I can distract myself. Okay, what else do I have here? Oh, here's a moisturizer with SPF. This is Cucumber Sage. This is this actually has that green... Ah, okay, where is it? Oh, this actually has the green, like, tint to it to help to minimize redness. And I actually like this, so... Oh, 
it just sprayed at me, so it must mean it's not good anymore, but it smells good. It smells like cucumber. All right, so I'll throw that away. Now, oh, here's that tone up sunscreen in the box that I didn't use. Okay, so I have the, so I have the CE Ferulic, oh, that's messy. I have the C, CE Ferulic Serum from Skin Suticles. This was like, hundred dollars or something and it oxidizes so quickly because it's like super yellowy and orange and rusty now oh and it smells like hot dogs so i probably won't use that i probably there's actually not that much in here i don't really like vitamin c serums is that too controversial to say not not i just i feel like there's better more stable antioxidant serums out there so that's just my two cents maybe i'll talk about that in a future video Here's the Mineral Fusion Powdery Powder for like, it's SPF of 30. It's like a brush on sunscreen. I don't use it hardly at all, um, but I did in the summer use it for my forehead because if I put sunscreen on my forehead and I wore a hat, my, my hair would get all matte, like weird and like gross and greasy. So I use this to sort of mattify and make sure that I still had sun protection. But if I use it on my whole, oh, you can't see me. If I use it on my whole face, it just makes my whole face dried out like a dried cake. That didn't make sense. Like without the frosting, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, I think I'll keep this just so that I can have it for the summer. Ooh, here's the Day Shade Bare and Sewn Anti-Aging SPF. Uh, I think it has astaxanthin in here, but this is a sunscreen oil. And here's what it looks like. I had to buy this on their website. It's a German, I think, company, and they just shipped it from Germany. It took like a month or more, and I couldn't find it anywhere else. But it is actually when you put this on your skin. I know the color looks like astaxanthin. Looks like that. That's the astaxanthin, I believe, which is basically like a um, a compound that accrues in fish and krill and things like that from phytoplankton, and that's what it's synthesized from anyway. But powerful antioxidant, but when you put it on your skin, it actually has that color on your skin. And it's oily, so it's an oil, it's an SPF oil, sunscreen oil, which I thought I would like. But I put it on my skin and, eh, I don't know, it wasn't, it was sort of anticlimactic. Like once I got it, I was like, oh, okay. Not my favorite. What else do I have in here? Um, oh, I have my retinol complex box. This is the Skin Medica. I like this retinol. I am still getting my skin used to retinol because it's still not used to the retinol, but I probably will buy this again. This is the 0.25. I kind of want to graduate upwards like one day to tretinoin. Do like a Skin Medica 0 0.25, 0 0.5, 1.0, and then eventually go to tretinoin, but we shall see. I've had this, I don't even know what this is because it's in like Japanese, I think, or no, it's in Korean, I'm sorry. It is Korean. It's sort of like a um, serum type moisturizer, but I, I don't know if it has occlusives. It's a gel, that's what it is. So like a humectant gel. Uh, I liked it, but I've had it for like three years, so probably will throw that away. And I have eye cream, which I don't use, so I will throw that away. And it's just like a sample anyway. I have these CO patches for your face and neck. I'm gonna keep those. But it's supposed to be like smoothing your, it's supposed to smooth your skin out and prevent you from moving them so you don't like develop, you know what I mean? Um, but it's supposed to help you just like keep your skin in place so you're not constantly moving them. Because expressions definitely can cause, can contribute to lines, but really the sun breaks down that collagen. So you kind of have, it's like a double, like you have to prevent and, quite a few ways. It's a holistic process. All right, I think that's it. I have this device though. It's like, I got this from Diminog or something. I think that's what Diminog. They sent me a bunch of serums and it's supposed to kind of mimic sort of like, is it PRP or that thing where you like sort of inject things into your skin? I, I don't think it's a radio frequency, but it, no, it's, it's, like, it's kind of like the, the concept of PRP, but it like vibrates. Can you hear it? Sort of a pin, and you're supposed to inject like a, a device in here and a serum. You have to put the serum on your face and go like that. You're supposed to use like uh, like small currents or uh, nano chips or something to embed it into your skin to a certain extent without doing the like actual needles, kind of like micro needling. That's what I was thinking of. And then the PRP comes into play with the micro needling, but uh, there's no PRP involved in this. 
it's just like serums that it's supposed to like embed into your skin and get into your skin. I don't really know, I don't really use it, so I might try and donate it. But I do still have the serums, which I also haven't used. Maybe I'll try and use those or I'll just donate the whole thing. All right, I think I am good. So let me go ahead and put all my to keep stuff back in here. Anyway, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, uh, hit that like button down below. Hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.